All right, how are you guys doing today? This is Azam, and I am so excited to be with you guys. Let me tell you guys a story. When Jeff Bezos started Amazon in the 90s, he was looking for investments like any other small businesses. And he reached out to a lot of people. He did come from Wall Street background. So he had access to individuals, access to individuals that had money and he reached out to them. But here's something very interesting that I want to just show you guys about Amazon. And this is about his parents being some of the first investors in Amazon. Bezos, um, you know, his parents right here, says right here, Jackie and Mike Bezos invested $245,000. That's a lot of money, even for today's day and age, but we're talking about 25 years ago. So it was possibly, I would say it's like someone's parents investing $600,000 into their business. So if they kept their holdings, Bloomberg estimates their shares would be worth $30 billion. Um, that number is astounding to me because they say right here that if they held on to their stakes, they would have increased 70,000 X. That's insane. These kind of returns, right? And let me just show you guys something else here. Let me. So PayPal to acquire shopping rewards platform Honey for $4 billion, right? On this one, they talk about how some of the investors of Honey, which is just a Google Chrome app, right? That does, shows you the best coupons and it's a, it's a very neat app indeed. Um, they had individuals that invested in Honey that are gonna get more than 300 times their return on investment. So why am I talking about this right now? I mean, you guys know me for Investify and talking to you guys about uh, stocks and crypto. Why am I talking startups? Well, because of this right here. This right here, the Jobs Act is the Jumpstart Our Business Startups Act is why we are having this conversation. In 2012, this was a regulation that was passed. And what that basically does is that it lets individuals <clears throat> like ourselves, like myself, like yourself, invest in startups. Until now, we only hear about VC investors like SoftBank or Kleiner Perkins or you know, other bigger ones in Silicon Valley. These are high net worth individuals. They put their money in and they multiply it. Well, now that opportunity is available to all of us. And that is what I am kind of bringing you to is that the last year I have just been scouring the internet for opportunities, whether you're in United Kingdom, whether you are in the United States, to find these startups that you can invest in that come with a background that have a potential for success. I mean, we all know people, we have invested in our friends' gas station business. Let's just say that, you know, a few friends came together and they invested and one individual is going to run the place, the other was going to manage it. And over the years, they made it into a successful business. Or we know people that we invested in their tutoring company or franchise that they were trying to purchase. And over the years, they were able to build it into a successful business. And you got a return out of that. The thing is that a lot of stocks can give you great returns on investment, but they are nothing, absolutely nothing when you're investing into an IPO. I mean, we all know that the first investors of Uber that invested $25,000 in 2007 to 2009 in that company have now, after 10 years, made over $300 million. Now, $25,000 is not a lot of money. To be honest, a lot of people uh, have that kind of 
income saved or a cash saved for a rainy day or for investments. But to get a $300 million return is something that blows everyone's mind because that changes the trajectory of your family tree. It takes care of you, your kids, your grandkids, perhaps. You know, it builds on that foundation of wealth, that base that you need. Why? Because you believed and you invested in startups, in founders that are truly visionary, that are mission oriented, and you took a risk. Every business is a risk. You know, literally everything we do in our life is a risk. Just getting up, drinking water or going out and driving a car is a risk. And so is a business. But if you can disperse that, there is an opportunity. So coming back to the Jobs Act, what is happening now in the world is that due to the Jobs Act, you can now invest in startups that are on certain uh, crowdfunding platforms. And you can invest as little as $50 to up to literally a million dollars in a lot of startups. And these are going to be in spaces of AI, blockchain, uh, retail, e-commerce, health tech, me medical, uh, med tech, all sorts of industries, right? And that's where we come in at Investify. For the longest time, I have not just had the opportunity to invest in these companies, but rather sit down with founders, be part of private equity teams, where I have seen pitches happen and the reason why private equity guys or venture capitalists invested in companies. And I'll just tell you why people invest in any companies. Number one is that the product, do they have a good product? Is it solving a problem? Uh, is there a big enough market for it or will there be a big enough market for it as time progresses? Number two is, you know, what are the financial metrics looking like? right, of the company? Do they have any churn yet? If they don't, if they're just a very early stage company, uh, then, you know, you can possibly take a very high risk on a company like that, but also get a higher percentage for your investments. And number three, that I think is the most important aspect is the management, the founder. What is their background? One of the things that I always look for in investing is, does the individual have some kind of a background, uh, a successful background in the past, because that can lead to a higher probability of success. Have they been successful in building products before, or have they been really good in their careers in the past? For instance, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook wasn't his first project. He was already notorious for face smash and other apps that he had been creating for years. So he knew how to build a product, but then he didn't just go to ITT Tech. He went to Harvard University and he studied computer science over there. And he also studied psychology. So he really knew how to mesh those two things together. And now we know what Facebook has become is a mammoth, right? Um, same thing goes for someone like Jeff Bezos. Maybe he was not from an e-commerce background or internet background, but he saw the opportunity and he was a very successful, a very sharp individual in his university at Berkeley. And then on Wall Street, uh, he was very successful, right? And then there is the third aspect where has a founder already had a successful startup in the past and they're going for a second one. Right. So these are a few things that you look for when you're start investing in a startup, because there's a very high probability of failure. But if they're successful, the returns over the next five years, seven years can be massive. I mean, Masa from SoftBank invested in Alibaba, and I believe that they invested a few million dollars. And they have, SoftBank has one of the biggest um, equity and Alibaba today worth over 100 billion, right? Uh, all their investments haven't gone well. And that is also the other thing that we focus on here is that, you know, you're not just going to be investing randomly. We're going to find you the best opportunities to invest in. 
And the reason I'm doing this is, is because I think we're living in a time where there are so many amazing opportunities and that people should know about these, that people should have access to them. Before, a lot of people did not have access to them. Um, as time has progressed, uh, more people can invest in stocks. They can invest in index funds. Now we can trade stocks for no commissions on Charles Schwab or Robinhood. And we can now trade new asset classes like cryptocurrencies. We can even invest in real estate online. And all of that is going to be provided to you. With the Investify Angel Investor Program, our purpose is to really provide the best of financial education to you. That has always been my passion and it will continue to be because I believe that if we understand finance, um, our lives will be so much better if we have a control over our finances and if we are building wealth for ourselves and for our families, right? So what you will get out of this program is really a few things. I'm going to provide you with recommendations on startups, which startups to invest in, how you can start investing in them and how simple it is, right? There is a risk associated with them, but then again, this is all educational. You do your own due diligence. I will provide you with all that I have and why I am personally investing in them. You will also get access to our stock alerts, right? We charge $50 a month for these stock alerts but we're gonna give them for three years subscription to our stock alerts. You'll get three years subscription to our startup recommendation. You will also get three years uh, recommenda uh, recommendation for our crypto alerts. On top of that, I will also show you one of my own personal portfolios that I have built in M1 Finance. And if I was to manage a billion dollars today, these would be the companies that I would be allocating my money in because I think that they have the longest, most potential for growth over the next few years. And then not just that, I will also give you access to a specific business development company that is literally like investing in six unicorn startups in one. So you'll get the opportunity to invest in all of these companies through right away if you want to, just for a few dollars. And you will get all of this along with the most important thing, a mastermind group. You will be part of a network where you can discuss ideas on startups, discuss ideas on stocks, on cryptocurrencies, on investments, on how to get rid of debt. That is also something I'm going to discuss with you guys. But then you will get to network with other entrepreneurs, other investors, um, even individuals that are working on startups or have some great startup ideas that we bring it to this platform and discuss those. And perhaps some of you might be interested in becoming co-founders together. One might be a great uh, software developer, so the other might be a great digital marketer and you guys have a great product, so you work together. And some of us might be interested in investing in these startups with the right contracts in place and whatnot. And the whole idea is to create this ecosystem where we all work together to build better opportunities for ourselves and for others. And this is what has taken me the longest time to get to, and I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. So check out the page, let me know what you guys think, and I am so grateful to all of you for everything. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I am here to help you. Have a great day. Thank you.